Hey friends, we are back today, as promised, with another cocktail using your yellow chartreuse. We, we have it out again, but we told you guys to get it and we didn't want it to be a big old waste. Plus, this is a pretty damn good cocktail. I'm just sort of excited to drink it today, honestly. If you listen closely, you can hear the excitement of the yellow chartreuse. I like the yellow chartreuse. I'm using it a lot lately. I love it. I'm, I'm only making fun because most people don't know what it is or it's not for everybody. I'm talking to you, my brother-in-law, David, who is not a Chartreuse fan. Well, the nice it. thing about this, this cocktail, even for you, David, is it uses a scant bar spoon of the yellow Chartreuse. So go for it. Live dangerously just this once. Throw in just the inciest bit. It helps to cut down the sweetness of the creme de cacao in this one, I think. Just yeah. a little herby. Yeah, I'm also impressed how you worked in the word scant. I think it's the first time in our seven months. I think that the recipe actually says scant. You ever notice that when a recipe calls for a bar spoon, it's always like a scant bar spoon. What does I, that mean? I mean, I, well, it's, I think it's a feel thing. I, I like skosh better. Yeah, but I've never seen that written. I don't even know how you spell skosh. I mean, by, by virtue of the fact that you're using a bar spoon, it means a tiny bit, right? So right, it's already understood, right. I feel like the scant part is a little bit redundant. For those of you wondering where we got this recipe, by the way, we've shown you this before. If you're a long time viewer, you know this is one of our faves. Uh, I've yet to find a, a recipe in here on the E-Rice. It's not delicious. It's I'm lying. It's a scant half ounce of creme de cacao. Interesting. So is a scant half ounce less than half an ounce? In which case, why not just say three eighths of an ounce? Because scant sounds cooler. It's like in parentheses, so it's truly an afterthought. Right. But seriously, a bar spoon, like this bar spoon here is smaller than my other bar spoon. So again, like everything else we teach you guys and we talk about, it's really just a feel thing. If you find this drink to be too sweet, then you cut back on the creme de cacao. If you find it too herby, you cut back on the yellow chartreuse. But I think all in all, it's one of those combinations I would not have thought of. And I don't even think it sounded great when I first read it. And it's one of those like, wow, that was good. So good. So, and so it's, good in the afternoon, it's so good as dessert after dinner. It's just so good. Also, I think I'm using a lot of creme de cacao lately. This, yeah, this you got, yeah. yeah, you've got me on that one. Yeah, which by the way, it should be understood and obvious. It's a white old fashioned. You'll see it's clear or pretty clear yellow, adds a little yellow uh, tint to it. So if you have a dark creme de cacao, this is not the time to use it. Or well, you, are creme de cacao, you can use it. You just have to call it something different because oh, now it's no longer a white old fashioned. Now you have to go with it's a better old fashioned. No, not funny. Too soon. No, it's not too soon. And, and by the way, we hope everyone out there is safe and dry. You know, it's been a rough few days here on Houston. It, it makes me want to drink more. So I better mm -hmm. find one of these, stick with it, and have a few more tonight. Well, that's good because I think you needed some prompting to want to drink more. Right. Well, the nice thing about this is honestly, between you and me and anybody else who may be watching, this is easy to sort of eyeball even if I want to make another one. It's like so few ingredients. It's not a whole big bunch of like measuring and pouring and blah, 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 blah. I can whip that up, sort of eyeball it, done. Boom, like that. That was cute how you worked in the word if you want to make another one. We're gonna go ahead and make this. It's another riff on an old fashioned. We've done lots of old fashioned riffs, but this is a really, really fun one. And it's a little bit on the sweeter side. So I think it's good for everybody. Let's do it. I do wanna add one point. This may throw up the color, but those of you out there that are not Mezcal fans, one, we're not sure how you can't be a Mezcal fan, but if you're not, or let's say you don't have Mezcal, you could use tequila. Uh, it's gonna be very different. I mean, the whole intent behind this drink was, was to sort of mix smoky and chocolate, but, if we have viewers out there who just do not like mezcal, but like the idea of creating sort of a, a variation on old fashioned, making it sweeter, maybe a reposado tequila, if you had to do something. I'm thinking a white whiskey. Because everyone has white whiskey? I have white whiskey. Cool. And if I, you don't like mezcal, you're not my friend anymore. <laughs> so you'll still be my friend, guys. And, but what I would say is I would avoid the white, like a Blanco tequila, and I would go with like a Reposado since it's a little, a little more complexity to it if you're going to have to skip on the mezcal. That being said, I highly recommend you do mezcal. If anybody makes it with tequila, please let me know. I'm very curious to know if it tasted any good. Well, how can they do that? Because you're going to unfriend them. Right. Mm. Let Jason know and he'll tell me. 
Very simple, easy, no brainer, easy to remember, easy to make again cocktail with two ounces, yes, two ounces of mezcal. Yum. Music to your ears. And the recipe actually calls for this El Silencio, which is a bottle I've talked about before because I think it's a pretty decent one at a very low price point. So it's not as smoky as I'd love him to be, but pretty decent. Yeah, and this one's actually similar in that it's well priced. It's an awesome bottle. We've always said we love this bottle. It's not really very smoky. A scant half ounce of creme de cacao, the clear stuff, clear Alec, clear. It'll look more like a fall beverage that way. Yeah. I think the beauty in this cocktail is how is just how clean and crisp it looks and it, yet it, it reads sweet. I have a surprise later on for that. Our spoon of the yellow stuff. Honestly, I think if you don't have the yellow chartreuse, you can probably go anything RV there, don't you think? Yeah, it, it's it's tricky as we talked, was it last week or a couple weeks ago about how you can use yellow chartreuse, what you can set in and out, because it's not an inexpensive bottle. This is around 46, 48 bucks. So things like Strega, things like Suze is, it's closer than most anything else. It may not be a great combination, but Suze, I think Strega is probably closer. Probably. I mean, Sailors, which again, no one's got Sailors. I don't know, there's a lot of those herby guys, I feel like. Galliano. Whatever the hell that is. Yeah, Galliano, sure, why not? It's a good point. Yeah. Galliano, whatever this Combier Excelsior thing is that I picked up because I thought it was so cute. So, mixing glass, large rocks if you have it. The, the largest you have to stir so we don't dilute. So I am out of my big, large reject cubes. So I'm just gonna use these guys to stir. I like those. It's a good size. They are a good size. I, would, I think ideally for stirring, I'd like bigger. Especially on a boozier cocktail. Well, I say boozy, it's, this is sweet, but it's still, to me, anything that's being stirred, I tend to avoid diluting, right? I mean, that's sort of the point of stirring versus shaking. So I, I, to me, the larger, the better when it comes to ice. Yeah, I really do like using the uh, a reject cube. Yeah, yeah, I stole that idea from you. There's always in that on the rocks tray, there's always one bad one. Always one. That's all right. I don't mind sacrificing one for five good ones, but I just don't have it right now. Stir. Yeah, I have a super fun surprise for my ice since we're doing a white old fashioned. I have clear ice. What's in there? White flowers frozen in. Beautiful. Oh, very beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. You can see right through it. Okay. So is that something that's easy enough to do a quick 20 second explanation on how someone would put something like that in their ice? Absolutely. When you're making ice, you stick it in there. But it, it's not one of those ones where you do it halfway, you like freeze it halfway and then you... No, I don't think you can do that if you want it clear because when, when you freeze them, you know, all the impurities go down. So if you do it halfway and then you put it in and then you do it again, this thing will still float to the top. So you could have done it you could do it on the first round, but then you're gonna end up with a, a layer of like cloudy right. ice. Right, it's true. It's not worth it. This is one of those cocktails where, at least for me, I'm gonna go real simple on the garnish, just a nice clean lemon peel. You could go fancy, but. I've cornered the market in fancy. Yeah, yeah, I think you've already uh, worn, worn out your fancy welcome on this one. Yeah, but you're the peel king. Thank you. Jason makes such nice peels. I'm gonna trim the, just, I'm just gonna trim it up. Okay, lemon peel. Excellent, I'm so excited. First one of many. You beta like this. Um, oh, shit! Even we make mistakes. I had this out here. We totally forgot to put it in. Totally, we're so excited to drink this, we kind of forgot. It's a scant dash of it's orange juice. scant dash, you know what I'm gonna do because I don't wanna pour it back in and start over again. Just going to dash it right on top. Such a rebel. I know. But you know what? I think, I think it's happened for a reason. This goes to show though, guys, this, this is not a drink where you're submitting for an award. This is something you just want to have the right taste and profile and would it be better early on when you stir it? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think it's gonna be that noticeable, so. It's not, it's too small. It's not like it needed to chill. It's a tiny dash, it's fine. It's totally a kind of chill. I feel it. very fine about that. We'll be losing no sleep over this one. Not losing any sleep, just gonna go enjoy my cocktail. Plural. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm quite excited about this one. I've had it many times, and this is one of my new classics, by the way. And, and by the way, to uh, one of our viewers out there who, who 
properly called me out on a falsehood. So in sports, they're actually not new classics, they're instant classics. So when a, an amazing game happens, those of you that have seen the video know what we're talking about a few weeks ago, we had a whole 20 minute thing on new classics and what that meant. And I referred to sports and some of these, inst these I call them new classics, but they're actually instant classics. Although I would still say the drink would be a new classic. Except when we drank it, and then it was an instant, an instant classic. classic. All right, see you guys next week. See you next Stay week. Dry. Cheers, Rice. Cheers, Jason.